So, you just purchased Raspberry Pi and you don't know how to set it up or how to install its operating system. Don't worry, you're at the right place and you're watching the correct video tutorial. In this video, I will teach you how to set up Raspberry Pi and how to install its operating system. This video tutorial is the first tutorial in a series of tutorials on how to use Raspberry Pi, NVIDIA Jetson Nano and Arduino to develop low-cost and affordable mechatronics and robotics projects that will demonstrate amazing capabilities of model-based control, machine learning and computer vision. Before I start, I would like to mention the following. I have almost 300 free video tutorials on my YouTube page. It took me a significant amount of time, energy and planning to create these free video tutorials. And consequently, I kindly ask you to press the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks a lot. The first thing we need is a microSD card. We will install our operating system on this card. Now. Over here, you can see the microSD card with 32 gigabyte capacity. However, my suggestion is to purchase a microSD card with at least of 64 gigabyte capacity. Even better, if you can afford it, purchase a microSD card with at least of 128 gigabyte capacity. You will need this extra storage since we will have to install different programs on our Raspberry Pi. Next thing you will need is a micro SD adapter and you will need this adapter since you cannot directly plug in your micro SD card in your laptop or computer. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you have a computer that has a port that can directly read micro SD cards. However, in most cases, we cannot directly read micro SD cards and consequently you will need an adapter and here are several examples of adapters you have an adapter that looks like this we plug in our micro SD card over here and the other side of the adapter goes into our USB port another example is this type of micro SD card reader the card goes here and the other part goes inside of our computer. And you also have this option, which is a universal reader. And this reader can or adapter can read various SD cards. And here it is, the port for micro SD card. Just to say I'm not advertising these products and I'm not being paid by these companies to promote their products. In this video tutorial, I will be using this adapter. So you simply plug in your SD card over here and another part goes inside of your computer. The next step is to install the Raspberry Pi operating system. Consequently, you need to visit this website. To install the Raspberry Pi OS or operating system, we'll be using the Raspberry Pi Imager. Raspberry Pi Imager is the quick and easy way to install the Raspberry Pi OS. So let's do that. First of all, we need to download the software. So you need to click over here and save it, for example, inside of your downloads folder. Here it is. Then you need to open this app and you click on yes. In my case, it's already installed, so I will get this window. And I will click on finish. Now, over here we need to choose the operating system. Consequently, we need to click over here and we'll be using the standard Raspberry Pi OS. Okay, next we need to choose our storage. So click over here and over here your computer should recognize your SD card. In my case, here it is. Okay, now don't immediately click on right. Click over here to bring up the options window. Here, I will give you a few suggestions on how to properly set up advanced options. My suggestion is not to play with the host name. Later on, once you install the operating system, you can change this name. Then, also leave this option as it is. That is, do not enable SSH. You can change this later on in your operating system. For those of you who don't know, SSH is a communication protocol. 
it enables you to remotely connect to your Raspberry Pi from another computer. Then, here you need to set up the name, the username and password. I'm not going to play with this option since later on I can change it by using the terminal. And over here I would definitely change this option. In my case my wireless is set up 81DE, that's my wireless network and I'm not going to show you my password. However, as you can see over here, this small program is able to automatically parse your password that you use to connect to Wi-Fi from your laptop or from your desktop computer. Okay, so other properties should stay as they are. You can see that the, that the software automatically recognized my time zone and it also recognized that I'm, United, that I'm in the United States of America. Okay, click on save and click on write and click on yes. And then you will see this progress window. Click on cancel and you will see this installation window over here. After you install the Raspberry Pi operating system on your SD card, you need to insert the SD card inside of your Raspberry Pi. For that purpose, you need to find the proper port on your Raspberry Pi. In my case, here is the SD card reader. And watch out, you need to insert your SD card like this. Okay, here it is. To use Raspberry Pi, you will need a mouse, a keyboard, and you will need a monitor. Here is my monitor. This monitor has an HDMI port. To use Raspberry Pi, you will need a power adapter. Here it is. In my case, the power adapter came with Raspberry Pi. However, in your case, you might need to purchase the power adapter. Then, you need this adapter. This is the so-called micro HDMI adapter. This adapter is used to connect your screen or monitor to your Raspberry Pi. Let's connect all the pieces together. Here you can see two USB ports. The white one is from the mouse and the black one is from my keyboard. Consequently, you can plug in them in over here. Keyboard, mouse. Then you need to plug in your micro HDMI adapter over here. You have two options since you can connect two screens to your Raspberry Pi. It doesn't matter where you plug in this adapter. I will plug it in here. And finally, the last step is to attach the power adapter. Here is where we attach the power adapter. First time you boot your system, you will see this welcome message. Welcome to the Raspberry Pi desktop and the message is saying that before you start using it, there are a few things to set up. Press next to get started. Okay. Over here, we can choose our country, language and time zone. In your case, you can choose your country. In my case, it's United States and my time zone is California. So I'm going to change this or for example, I need to find Los Angeles over here and I'm using English language and I'm using US keyboard and click on next setting location. Please wait. The next step is to create a user. You need to specify your username and I will enter my password. However, you need to specify your own username and your own password. and you click on next. Set up screens, uh, reduce the size of the desktop on this monitor, don't play with this option, you can change later on. Click on next, searching for networks, 
click on next update software this is a very very important option if you have properly set up the network during the installation of the operating system on your SD card then during this process Raspberry Pi will automatically connect to your wireless network however if you didn't set up the network parameters correctly you will not see this window and you will have to manually update the operating system I will show you how to do that at the end of this video after some time you will see this window and click on OK and finally you need to click on the restart and after the system reboots itself you will see this beautiful window congratulations you have installed the Raspberry Pi operating system however let's make a few adjustments and these adjustments are optional first of all I don't like this resolution everything is too tiny to set the resolution I will click over here and I will choose preferences and under preferences I will choose screen configuration now I will do the right click over here and I will set my resolution I like this resolution after you click there you should click on apply to set the resolution here's how my screen looks like after I adjusted the resolution everything is better and much larger and you can see it more clearly okay next verify that your Raspberry Pi is connected to the network in my case the Raspberry Pi is connected to the network this is because I can see over here that this symbol is blue in your case if you see X over here this means that your Raspberry Pi is not connected to the network and consequently you need to choose your network over here you will select your network and you will connect it to the network by entering the username and password in case your Raspberry Pi was not connected to the network during the setup procedure that is after you entered the SD card inside of Raspberry Pi and after you first started your Raspberry Pi you will most likely have to update your operating system so let's see how to manually update the operating system to update the operating system you need to click over here and you need to open a terminal then you need to enter Two commands the first command is sudo apt get update you write it like this sudo apt get update okay the second command is sudo apt get upgrade okay you can see over here that everything is up to date however in your case you will most likely see windows over here and you will see progress window and it's going to take maybe five or ten minutes to update your system and that's it this is the end of the video and thank you very much for watching this video and please press the like and subscribe buttons thank you very much